Hi everyone, hopefully everyone's having a good day. I'm Shidomi Lamaz, your personal skincare coach, teaching you effective ways of achieving your perfect skin through education and well-being. Today I'm actually going to be answering one of the questions that I've actually had, I think it was in one of my videos in regards to skin barrier damage. Someone commented saying, Shidom, I'm using 1% retinol, my skin tends to not accept it and I'm seeing severe reaction and also drawbacks from using high concentration of retinol and for that reason I'm currently not using it at all. She was not the only one by the way, there were numerous people contacting me and also throughout my consultation session as well when I am talking to my clients I do notice that this is actually a common thing. This is not for retinol only by the way, this is generally for all active ingredients out there. Generally speaking, we feel like as a consumer, the higher concentration that we use a product, the more efficient and more effective it will be. And if you haven't seen, for example, my video on why I believe niacinamide 10% um, by the ordinary is not the greatest product, and I feel it, it is one of the most overrated products out there, is because of exactly this reason. It is very high concentration of niacinamide, and therefore, because it's high concentration, your skin starts to react and get irritated from it and therefore as a consumer when we get an irritation we stop using that ingredient totally because we automatically feel that that ingredient does not suit us. This is exactly the same case with retinol as well. When someone uses retinol, obviously there's a lot of options out there. There's 0.25%, there's 0.3%, there's 0.5% and there's also the maximum concentration that we can find uh, is 1% of retinol. And people when they are choosing products, really when you look at the price point of 0.25 versus 1%, there's really not so much difference. So automatically as a consumer you think, oh, uh, that's 1%, let's say I'm just giving you an example, it's 50 pounds and 0.25% is 45 pounds. I'd rather pay five pounds more and I'll get something 1%. And you automatically make that judgment call and you purchase the product and then you start using it every single day and you are expecting much more greater results out of it just because it's on the higher concentration side, right? I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you've been there. You just expect so much from one product because one, you paid for it and two, obviously, you know, it's a high concentration, right? It must be working for my skin. And then when it doesn't work or when something happens and you get a reaction towards it, or not, I'm not even saying as a reaction, but you don't get the desired feel for it, then you start blaming the product and then you also, you know, start blaming your skin. Please comment below and say, yes, I've experienced this, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Please note this down, right? This is actually going to be very important for going forward as well when you are searching for skincare ingredients. It's always better, it's always better to be able to use a product on a daily basis at a lower concentration rather than you use a product at a higher concentration but every week or two times a week. You will get much more successful and better results by using an ingredient every day or as often as you can as often as you can, so as often as you can tolerate, rather than using a very high concentration and use it once a week. This is, I think, the major, major learning point that I really want to put, put across to you. It's so hard to say, use 1% every single day, because there are some people that who can tolerate that, especially if it's, if it's someone that who have been using retinol for a long time. But there are also some people that who can't even tolerate 0.5% using it every single day. Do you understand? So there's, it's very, very variant and it's very individualistic when it comes to concentration of usage. That's the reason why you have to find a retinal concentration that works best for you and try to maximize on the frequency of you using it. So in the retinal context of things, it's better, for example, if your skin can tolerate 0.3% or even 0.5% retinol for you to use that retinol every single day in part of your night time skincare routine rather than using 1% retinol and use it only two times a week because if you use it three to four times a week or even every single day for example like your skin is freaking out and this again applies for acids applies for niacinamide only ingredient I'm literally not even going to exaggerate here the only ingredient that more is better is sunscreen because sunscreen is a protection it's not a treatment when something is put on to your skin to prevent and to protect 
then that's something that you can obviously go overboard. There's no such thing as, you know, putting too much sunscreen. But you can reapply your sunscreen every two hours and you are expected to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours if you want to get the maximum protection benefits out of the sunscreen. So apart from sunscreen, I'd say every single other ingredient, active ingredient out there, you have to also use it with care. And you only do what is suited best for your skin. So let's say you have 1% concentration of retinol and you have this bottle, you already purchased it and you don't know how to use it. How I would advise you to use it is that you have to have an adaptation period. This all depends if it's your first time or not. Let's say it's your first time you starting using 1% or any type of retinol. You always start with maximum two times a week. This is not because it actually provides you the best benefits of using it two times a week. It's only because your skin, we are trying to adapt your skin into an active ingredient. An adaptation period would normally take up to a cell cycle, so like a skin cycle. So that's like around one month. We have to handle it with care the first four weeks of you introducing yourself to a high concentration of any ingredient, but in this instance, retinol. So what you do is you use it two times a week at night and you only use it after your moisturizing step. Obviously, the earlier you put it on, so let's say you cleanse, you tone, and then you put your retinol, the absorption of that retinol would be greater. So the effects of the retinol would be greater as well. So it will help more with hyperpigmentation. It will work more with firming the skin. It will work more with simulating the cell renewal. It will work more on treating the acne. So the effects of the positive side of the retinol would be much more greater. However, a lot of penetration, especially if you are just starting out as well, is not generally means it's the best thing for your skin as well. So what you can do is to, to avoid any type of irritation or sensitivity towards that 1% uh, that retinol, I would advise you to cleanse, tone, moisturize, and put your retinol on top of moisturized skin. So you are kind of limiting the absorption power of the retinol. Do you have your moisturizing step acting like a barrier, like a shield? You do that maybe for a couple of weeks, and only when you feel like my skin has not been irritated, I have no extreme dryness, my skin welcomes the retinol into my life, and only then you can now start increasing the frequency of usage. So then you increase it to three times a week, maybe four times a week, and see how your skin reacts to it. If it reacts in a way where your skin is freaking out or drying out, that means that you have to drop a day. You still carry on using it after the, your moisturizer, and then let's say after a month's time, once your skin is adapted to it, you can start slowly, slowly pushing your retinol before your moisturizer so you can get better absorption. Let's say you are an intermediate retinol user and you're suddenly going from 0.5% and what to 1% and your skin is freaking out, then I would again advise you to follow the same method as cleanse, tone, moisturize, and then apply your retinol serum or retinol cream. If your dryness is still persistent, then I would definitely advise to use the moisturizer or a balm or repair balm on top of your retinol. So what you're now doing is you sandwiching the retinol in between two moisturizers, it can be the same moisturizer or you can go higher in consistency. So you can do cleanse, tone, moisturize, your retinol serum, your retinol cream, and then you finish off with either the same moisturizer, so you're sandwiching it in, or you can go with for an oil, or you can go for a balm, or you can go for the same moisturizer. So what you essentially do, you sandwich that retinol in between two products that has humectants, that has occlusives, that has something to hydrate the skin. So you kind of, I'm left like this, so you're kind of repairing the skin before and after using the retinol and that's the best way to tackle any kind of irritation. So that hopefully that was able to give you a little bit of insight of how you can introduce uh, yourself to high concentrations of retinol but ultimately it is really really individualistic so as I said I would always prefer my clients to carry on using let's say 0.3 percent uh, retinol to use it before their moisturizer every single day rather than someone that who uses one percent retinol and uses it let's say after their moisturizer only two times a week so if you were to ask me which one is better I personally would always go for the lower concentration, use it before your moisturizer, use it every day, just so you can enhance the benefits of retinol of being in your nighttime routine every single day. I really want you to understand that sometimes less is more. Not necessarily more is more, sometimes less is more. You can get more benefits with less. And this is with everything in life, I guess. 
sometimes the more of everything is damaging to us and I think we just have to realize that and we have to also realize that that also comes with a price to pay sometimes when we become we want more of everything we have to pay a price and with skin unfortunately we have a have to pay a price for the irritation or the dryness or the sensitivity or the redness that we experience so do not go down that route I hope that you find this video useful please give me a thumbs up if you did and I would love to have you here again join me so we can have this conversation because I always say that there's always more to share and always more to learn and I always love to have a communication with you either it being on my Instagram or YouTube I'm very very active with my comments because I see those questions and I do a video on them so those questions are actually very very valid right guys hopefully you'll have a good day and I love you all bye